let's get into it. So this is Love Me Hair and it's so luscious and silky. They've got little tabs there which you can attach a band so that you can wear your wig basically glueless, which I absolutely loved. And this is the HD Lace straight from the packet. So I've done no plucking, nothing. And as you guys can see, it looks absolutely amazing already. So this is just, I'm just going to show you guys a little demonstration of difference between regular Swiss lace and then HD lace. So as you can see, it blends, but not as seamlessly as HD lace would. And that's the HD lace, obviously, on the wig, as you can see. And look how that just melts into my skin with basically just some spray that I would actually use on my hair. So yeah, literally, HD lace is just so transparent and it blends into pretty much any skin tone. It's just the perfect lace if you want that beautiful beautiful melt so i'm just gonna now bleach the wig and i'm just preparing it by putting some got to be spray on the hair so that it doesn't bleach doesn't get onto it and then i'm just using a knife that i do not like <laughs> i think everyone has one of those in their cupboards and then i go to a spoon as well um just to get into little crevices and i let this sit on for about 30 minutes in total i did do 20 and then washed off and then decided to go in with bleach the second time. So this is it now all bleached as you can see. Um, I did over bleach this by accident and not accident it's really hard to explain but it looks so good on my hair and on my head you guys just wait till you see it and look at this wig and this lace it's beautiful so this is it straight from the packet no plucking just bleach and as you can see it already melts onto my skin but i'm just going to tint the lace a tiny bit with some foundation and then um oh, i also hooked on my um tabs because i like to wear mine kind of like snug and it's also adjustable which is amazing and it was already on there when i got the wig in the in the box so yeah as you guys can see this is it straight out as i said before um i'm gonna apply some heat protectant just obviously i don't want to damage the hair especially because this is hd lace you have to treat it with a lot of care um as you know the lace is very thin so you have to be really really careful with this um so yeah i'm just using my foundation on the lace and then i'm going to put it back on but i felt like i needed more tint into it so um i'm going to put some bronzer on my cap and guys this makes the perfect combination to give you that bold, bold cap method without needing to do a bold cap because i have not got time for that i like i, I like to take my wigs off every night so and look at that it's pretty much gone you can barely see the cap like it's still there guys it's still there you can just barely see it but look at how that blends so well i was so nervous about accidentally over bleaching it but it just made it melt so beautifully and especially with hd lace because it's so thin it literally just absorbs into your skin i'm gonna use the word absorb into your skin um i'm obsessed and now i feel like i can only wear hd lace <laughs> from now on um, but yeah, I'm just cutting off the ear tabs as you can see um, And then I'm just gonna go on to the other side You have to be really careful cutting your ear tabs because you don't want to cut too much because then you'd end up with less lace and then it becomes a problem so So I'm just using my ORS olive oil spray which has become my go-to because it leaves no white cast pretty much no white cast um, And then I did that two times and then I melted that onto my head So yeah, if I for me when I apply my wigs, it's best for me to just go in sections instead of doing like one whole giant round around my head. Um, I know some people do like just spray the, the whole perimeter of their head, but I like to go in rounds because I feel like you get a better melt and then a better, more like snatched effect with your wig as well. And when I say snatched effect, I mean like for your brows, you know, just pulls your face up a little bit, it's like a mini facelift, <laughs> even though I don't need one. <laughs> So after I apply this, I basically just put on my band just to hold it all down and then I will go off camera and do my makeup and then I will be right back. But 
Oh my god, what am I talking about? I literally cut the lace. I don't know what's wrong with me. I forgot I cut the lace. But after I cut the lace, I will do my makeup and I'll be right back. But can, can you guys see this? Can you guys see this? How seamless it looks. Like, it looks even better in person. And I cannot explain it to you guys at all. But yeah, the over bleaching has actually worked, which I was so shook. Um, I've seen like Erica J um, do it on her youtube but i always i always thought because she's like super super expert but it really does make a difference because it makes it look like the wig is coming from your head and also this love me lace is so stretchy and it's just so beautiful i, I literally cannot explain it to you guys and this wig is so affordable as well um which i checked on the website and i was like damn i need to get myself another one <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to do my makeup and I'll be right back and yeah. Makeup done, looking cute. So time for the reveal. Oh, that band was hurting my ears. Oh my God. Anyway, um, as you can see, it's well, well, well ma ma <laughs> mated, melted. So I'm just going to do my baby hair. So I'm doing my ear tabs first and I need to get a small... To, like tongs for this because i find it's so hard to do it with this giant ass thing um but yeah it just you just i just find that when you curl the baby hairs it just looks so much nicer and it's so much easier to maneuver as well because i struggle with baby hairs to this day still um yeah And then for the like my forehead area for the baby hairs, what I do is I like I brush through where I think I might want baby hairs. So before I used to just pick a section and cut, but now I brush through just to check that this is where I want my baby hairs to sit. And then I will curl it and then I'll brush again to like as if I'm like molding the baby hairs. And then if I feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna look good, then I will I will cut the hair. Um but also the way I'm I molded my baby hairs onto my um my head is i used the ors spray and i sprayed that either onto the baby hairs or onto my um my little brush that came with my love me um package and um yeah that's how i, did. I didn't use any mousse or anything because sometimes i feel like mousse can just be just really irritating and then gel can be too jelly especially if you're not planning on wearing it for a week or so so yeah i did it that way and then i just use my like spray and just move those hairs away but guys how melted does that look even though i have not plucked this wig like when i say i have not plucked this wig i'm not even joking like i got my tweezers out and i was just about to pluck it and i was like wait a minute this does not need plucking and if it does i would rather do it on my head but this wig needed no plucking i'm just i'm just I'm just as baffled, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen my other Love Me video um, with their hair, but their hair has always been so nice and soft and silky um, and for a good price as well, which is just amazing. Look at that, guys. Ooh, I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to get on to curling now. Um, I don't know what the size of this wand is. Um, because I used to have a clippy bit, but I unscrewed the clippy bit on the top. But I have no idea what size it is. People have been asking me. I have, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I got this like three years ago or so. And even then I didn't, I just picked it up. Um, so yeah, I cannot tell you guys. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I do want to get a bigger browled um, curling tong just to give me that more of a blowout effect because that's what I was trying to go for today which I think I did get in some shape or form um, but yeah I literally curls I miss curls so much I've been having my hair crimped for a long time now and I was like you know what curls would be so nice and it just looks so fabulous and voluminous obsessed anyway so here's all my hair curled. As you can see, I'm obsessed. Well, you can't tell by my face, but you can hear by my voice. that I'm obsessed with this hair. It's just so soft and so silky. And it looks like it's coming from my scalp. And I'm just absolutely obsessed right now. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, it's 
I don't know what to tell you. The HD lace is the way to go. If I cannot convince you from this video, then I don't know what to tell you because you obviously have not been watching. <laughs> You've not been watching, honestly. Um, it's just, oh God. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to love you and leave you in a second because I have done a little talky bit at the end and I'm pretty sure you're tired of me talking. But yeah, this is definitely the difference between HD and Swiss lace. And if you guys haven't yet and you've got like a special event to go to, definitely try HD lace. Even if you just want to treat yourself for your birthday, I know you Virgo babes are out there. Get yourself some of this love me hd lace you will literally not regret it as you can see from there and all the information will be in the description below so i'm gonna see you guys in a second bye anyway guys this is the end of the video i really hope you learned something today about hd lace and swiss lace and the difference in the blend i mean can you see that you can't see the lace it is invisible it is invisible like you cannot this looks like it's coming out of my scalp no lie no word of lie you can see it here yourself again thank you to love me hair from sending me this beautiful wig this beautiful hd lace the curls are popping it just looks absolutely amazing and sorry if i keep looking elsewhere i'm looking at myself is basically what's happening because i just look so good right now but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little tutorial on hd lace and swiss lace if you'd like to see more videos don't forget sorry i keep messing my hair <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe turn the bell on and also check out the other videos on my channel i've done other hair videos on my channel before there's also another one featuring love me again so um yeah i literally love their hair their hair is so silky and so soft and it actually stays this way um even my previous wig that i have from them i still have it like there is nothing wrong with it it's still as it came when i first got it so yeah what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below um what you think of this hair and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye